Handing off a brand project is one of the most crucial parts of a project. As a designer, you have a clear vision in your head for how every pattern and color should be used. But we can't assume that our client automatically has that same perspective. Handoff is also the best time to make sure that we can keep working with our client and collaborate on more projects together. After 10 years of running my branding studio, I wanna share all of my best tips to actually make this handoff really smooth, quick, and ensure that your client feels extra pampered. Let's start with a brand guide and brand sheet. These are like a step-by-step -step instruction manual for your client or anyone that they actually choose to collaborate with on how to use the brand. So knowing what to put can make all of the difference for you. I like to make sure I cover three different sections in my brand guides. The first one is all about giving context to the visual identity and explaining the positioning of the company. This section might have words that summarize the client's values or describe the tone of messaging, for example. And this could be for their marketing, website, any aspect like that. So basically anything that's focused on the strategy that will help someone who is new to this company. For example, a website designer that they're hiring. They're gonna be able to understand the motivation for the visuals that we show them later on. Next up, we cover all of the individual elements, like how to use the logo, colors, fonts, and any illustrations or icons, for example. My must have for this section that my clients always point out as something that they absolutely love is to link directly to specific folders for the files. So I'll show you what I mean. I start by setting up a folder in Google Drive and then I add subfolders for every type of deliverable, like the logo design and patterns, for example. Then when I create a section in the brand guide, I just grab the link from that one folder and add it in. This makes the brand guide feel a lot more like a design system. And if you make any changes to the assets in the future, the links are still relevant as long as you just keep things in those folder setups. For fonts, make sure you have the correct licenses. Your clients will need their own license to any fonts that you use. So if you have a font from Adobe Typekit or Foundry, for example, make sure to grab another license for each use case. And finally, perhaps the most important section, which is use cases. This is where we give examples of what a social media post could look like or how to use layout to create that branded experience, for example. The more detail you give here, the higher the chances that the client will use the brand the way that you actually intended it to be. One option is to create your brand guide as a PDF document, but you can also use a number of digital brand guide tools that actually let you build out more of a living version of the brand guide. This is a smart move if your client is likely to add new products or maybe grow their business a lot in the next few years. The brand sheet is an extra helpful and quick kind of add-on for all of those day-to-day -day decisions. So your client might not always have the time to scroll through a long brand guide. So a brand sheet is usually a one page overview of colors, the different logo lockups, fonts, and any last quick kind of grab details that you would like your client to remember. However, regardless of how perfect your instructions are, there's only one way to guarantee that your client applies the brand as intended and that is to create templates. I always try to suggest this as an add-on to any branding project, and to be honest, it's kind of a pretty easy sell. You already have all the brand assets and guidelines, and the client will have templates that they can use right away, which saves tons and tons of time. And this is where today's sponsor, Kittle, comes in. Kittle is a browser-based design program where you can create documents, social media posts, and any other templates that you will need for your clients and you can share it with a simple link. I almost always get asked to create templates in programs like Word or Google Slides, and it takes so much time just to try and figure out how to kind of design around the limitations. But with Kittle, you have so many of the same tools that we're used to in programs like Adobe Illustrator, for example, or Figma, like the pen tool, for example. This saves so much time when we create these custom templates, but it's still really easy for the client to use. If your client has assets from previous projects that they like to use or incorporate that are not vectors, you can just click a single button to quickly convert them. You can start by setting up the brand kit with the colors and fonts, and you can even set up photo filter settings here. So for example, let's say that your client's brand has a more kind of grungy effect with a lot of noise and a bit of a lower contrast to their images. All your client needs to do when they add in a new image in the template is to just click on the pre-made filter and it automatically feels on brand. Kittle also has a huge library of mockups and assets that just makes your work so much easier. 
especially when you want to create something that feels really custom and unique but that is still really easy for the client to work with. My favorite part of Kittle is just how intuitive it is as someone who already uses design tools. And it's equally easy to show clients at handoff. If you also want to give them a try, Kittle is offering anyone who is using our link 25% off Kittle plans, even annual ones. It's all linked in the description so you can check it out. Kittle also has a free plan that anyone can try, so if you want to play around and see if it's for you, go and give that a try. I mentioned doing a little instructing at handoff, and I think this is a great step to add to your process if you're not already including it. Book in a meeting with the client once they have paid and approved all of the work, and just go over the brand guide and templates and how everything works over a coffee. You can make it a quick 30 minute call, but it's a great way to make sure that your client leaves the project feeling super confident and excited about the projects. It's also a great time to bring up suggesting kind of different ways that you can work more together. Although you can choose to only focus on designing brand identities from scratch, it's usually easier to run a business long term if you continue to develop those relationships with the clients and continuing to develop those identities instead of constantly trying to find new leads. About 75% of the work that our studio does is through repeat clients or referrals. So taking a bit of extra time to think about how you can help your clients get even more from their designs is really worth investing in. This might look like offering a monthly retainer to create on-brand assets, for example, or maybe you are looking at campaigns or you could suggest ways to expand the branding to more aspects of their business, for example. Let's say, for example, that you've just created a visual identity for a company that you absolutely loved working with, but you also know that they have a retail store. You could then suggest designing branded packaging like tissue papers, for example, bags and tape as an add-on once the identity portion and all of that is defined. On a personal note, make sure you stick to a setup that works for your life and personal working style here. For example, I know a lot of fantastic designers who offer a one-day brand booster, but as someone with a five-year-old and all of the kind of unpredictability that comes with that territory, it would not work for us. So instead, think about the type of work that you really enjoy, what's financially viable, and what clients are willing to pay for, and try to find that perfect overlap there. It's your business, you can structure it however you like. As much as handoff is a great time to make sure that your clients are happy and excited, it's also a really great idea to set aside some time to reflect on your own process update your portfolio and ask for testimonials that can help you improve your website SEO in the long run. So in other words, all those bits that we never make time for, but that we really should. <laughs> Usually we can't share a brand that we've created right away, but we have to wait until the client has launched and announced their new identity. Instead of putting off updating our portfolio until they launch, I suggest making it a habit to create that case study as an unpublished draft right away. You will have all of the details top of mind that will be so clear because you've just spent weeks or months on this project. So once they launch, you can do the same and join the hype. If you wanna go a step further, record a short video for social media about the process of creating the brand and prepare a few posts that you can set live when the brand goes live and launches. It's always easier when it's fresh in your mind. For the testimonials, we wanna make it super easy for the client to leave that review you where it matters most. So make sure you have a Google My Business profile set up and grab this little leave a review link to share in your handoff package or in an email. And finally, reflect back on the project. I still learn something from every single project and I like to have a think about anything that I need to, for example, change in my contract, anything I noticed in stages where the client had a lot of questions, or I can make tweaks to my different steps and templates to stay on top of it for next time. If you're just starting out, don't worry about having the perfect process. It all comes from a lot of mini tweaks along the way as we learn. The key thing to remember at handoff is just to make sure that your client feels confident and excited. And I hope that this video helped you with some of the tips to make that process a little bit smoother. If you wanna check out Kittle, don't forget to use the link down in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your projects and I'll see you next time.